Well, it's an ongoing problem in Seattle. Talking about shoplifting. You see stolen goods on sale in the streets, not to mention it's dangerous for security workers and employees. The Seattle police just conducted a citywide crackdown on shoplifting, and Fox 13 was the only TV station to be there behind the scenes. Fox 13's Matt Markovich was invited along, so Matt, will this make a difference? Well, at least for one day and at eight specific stores. Uh, this emphasis involved dozens of Seattle police officers in uniform and undercover, and it was just one day, but SPD says they want the criminals to know they'll be doing it again. Black and red jacket. Black, red, white pants, got a shopping cart, he's out of the garden bag. Working undercover, Seattle police are following a suspected shoplifter at the Rainier Valley Lowe's. A getaway driver is cruising the parking lot. Robert 01, initiate the arrest. All right, the female's driving. Uh, just be aware there's a child directly behind the driver. When officers try to make an arrest, the driver and suspect bolt with a boxed mattress and pillows. He's continuing eastbound on all of lane number two. The suspect's... Uh, attempted to elude, basically peeled out really fast, driving dangerously. We are not going to initiate a traffic stop. Police don't pursue because... You know, this crime and the fact that we knew there was a child on board both uh, dictate that it's just that's not worth that risk. Hopefully he gets out on foot and we can uh, call the rest in. But undercover officers tail them to a parking lot 10 miles away. Suspect has taken the mail into custody. How old is it? The getaway driver had her 10-month-old boy with her. Keeping him safe. We're all parents here. Chill. We just seen the cops just fly by, and then they, we see them catch them. They have the baby in there. That's sad. I know. Man. I hear you. How are you doing this? It was part of a citywide shoplifting emphasis on Thursday, targeting a store in each of the city's five precincts. There were 12 officers at the Rainier Lowe's in the South Precinct. This is not a normal day going after shoplifters. There's a, an emphasis going on, right? There is emphasis going on. This is something that's been asked for by the city and directed to us uh, from City Hall. Um, that retail theft is a priority. Because shoplifting is so widespread, investigations are typically handled by a store's loss prevention officer. But they don't detain suspects like the police can. Here, store employees last year tried to stop a man stealing a 70-inch TV from Seattle's downtown Target, which was one of the locations in Thursday's operation. A lot of times when we apprehend somebody, they will immediately tell us, hey, I've been let off in the past. I'm usually going to go sell these items. Uh, I'm a user. I'm asking you specifically for consent to recover the stolen property from Lowe's out of your car. Will you grant me that or no? Are you going to be in jail? I don't know. So I had your consent to enter your vehicle and recover the stolen property. This is stolen property, yes. Yes? Okay. Only the stolen property. The woman is being held in jail on a $10,000 bail for eluding police. She's had 21 warrants for her arrest in 13 years. Police say her cousin took custody of the child. The man is being held not for shoplifting, but for parole violations. I'll never do it again. <laughs> sure hope not. Especially if you're raving the car. The mattress will go back to Lowe's. And this one-day operation yielded 49 arrests with 13 people booked for possible felony charges and outstanding warrants. We'll be following up to see how many have been charged for shoplifting and how they will be punished if convicted. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Matt.